So welcome everyone, and thank you for coming to the CARA Smart Start session. We have incorporated these again. We're gonna be doing them on a monthly basis. And today I wanted to talk about how to have a successful freelance makeup artist business. So if you are a makeup artist, um, feel free to share that in the chat as well. And, um, or if you're an aspiring makeup artist and um, I'm going to, I'm going to share with you some key points when you're starting your business to, you know, really like think about. So I wanted to kind of put some, some thought into your mind, give you some ideas, and we're going to have a, a series of sessions to really help you grow your makeup artist business. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Leslie Kristen. I'm the president of Cara Cosmetics, and I have been a lifetime makeup artist. I started as a cosmetologist in my early 20s and really um, never kind of succeeded at the hair side of it, uh, was never really my passion. I always wanted to do makeup and as well as just developing really, really bad allergies from hair chemicals and whatnot. So it just made it a really easy transition for me to go into makeup artistry. Now, of course, when I started, that was before any type of internet, YouTube, any kind of thing like that. So um, a lot of it was, was just searching on your own and finding the right people that could hopefully open up doors for you and mentor you. And I think still to this day, there's a lot you can learn online. Obviously, we're here online right now. Um, but I think having that, that mentorship, that education is going to be key to elevate you from the rest of everyone out there. Um, so that is really what my passion is to really share my journey of makeup artistry and then also to help you to grow into the areas that you that you're looking to go or I think a lot of people that take our classes as well um, they don't even realize how many avenues of makeup artistry there are so I started off again working um, in a salon started to do makeup there and then I met someone that was an assistant director I start she introduced me to her makeup artist that she used a lot and so at that point I started learning how to do commercial work I started doing print work and then I was one of the first uh, makeup artists that opened up uh, doing production at Universal Studios and MGM uh, and, you know, started working a lot here on the East Coast. And then um, in the early 90s, I joined the union, which is IATSE 798 out of New York. Uh, for those of you that kind of are familiar with that or are in that realm, um, to be able to do larger feature films and uh, you have to, you know, there is a union that that you belong to, to work on those, that caliber and those type of films. And I'm sure a lot of you are hearing all about that because there's a writer strike and an actor strike and, you know, all of that that's happening in production right now. But um, at that time, I worked in production for about 12 years. And then I realized that I really wanted to start a business. I wanted to do something that, um, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't stay in the film business forever because I figured, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to be 70 and still working on a film set in the month of August, you know. Uh, and so I started to develop Cara Cosmetics, which as for about two and a half years, I started creating the line while I was working in production on my actors. So our motto is that we work on act, or that our products are tested on actors and not animals. So it is a cruelty-free line. It was important for me to back then also is to have a product that was great for on camera that would encompass all skin tones. Um, and then as I was, I primarily was selling to spas and salons. We also started selling to Paul Mitchell schools and Redken schools. And that's really where the Cara Makeup Academy portion of our classes started to 
develop. And, and I started creating those because I was providing a lot of support for all of our different salons. And then also um, a lot of clients would come over and just retail clients and wanted to know how to do their makeup. So that's where Studio Cara was created. So that's our flagship studio. So I have really done many, many aspects of makeup artistry. And of course, it has taken many years. Uh, Cara Cosmetics was founded in 97. And as you can see, I started very young, but it's amazing how quickly time goes by. And um, I do feel so fortunate and and thankful that I still love doing what I do. And I love being able to also um, be able to help other people grow with their makeup artistry to do makeup applications. Um, so we have a variety of things that we do. And I think as a makeup artist and for all artists, uh, we are just not fit to just do one thing in and out. So being able to have a career that allows us to flourish and grow and, and expand our horizons, I think is so important. And I think it's an industry that keeps you very young. You have to stay relevant to what's going on. There's always different changes happening. And so I welcome you. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on the replay, also thank you so much as well. And I want to share with you, and, and at the end of the session, please, I'll have the, um, I will have the, the chat so we can ask some questions, or if you want to come on, feel free to do that as well. And let me see here. I want to share my screen because I want to be able to share with you. Hopefully, you've had an opportunity to, um, to be able to download the the presentation and let me go over here and I'm going to pull that up real quick for some reason my computer is not it's it's not seeing that right away so I'm going to take a look at that real quick and forgive me here I don't know zoom you're not cooperating with me today <laughs> technology is always like that um, okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to get this presentation going. Uh, so makeup artistry is just, I, I feel like it is just, it's so fun. And I have had just, you know, a, a blast with, with being able to help, uh, and see our people grow with the with our courses. Um, also, I don't know if if any of you have are working in a salon or if you are, um, you know, if if you're actually uh, freelancers or are you starting. So definitely share that with me because I'm very I'm very interested in in learning more about about your business. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. And let's see. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your patience, guys. <laughs> so hopefully you can see this here that I am sharing the screen with you. And we have, let's see. There we go. And um, so the beginning of freelancing. Freelancing is, I want to say, first off, not for the faint of heart. It is not easy. And I wanted to share with you, you know, some things that I think a lot of people think, okay, freelancing means that I don't have to have a boss, which absolutely you are your own boss. But what happens also when you're your own boss, that means that you have to wear all different hats because you are the beginning and the end of your business, right? So as you're starting a successful makeup, makeup business, when I think of successful um, I 
you want to think of it. It's not how many followers you have. It's how many clients do you have when you're a working makeup artist, unless you are an influencer, obviously, but I'm talking about, you know, somebody that works with clients that, um, that is building a clientele and that clients come to you as their, as their artist. So you can do bridal makeup, you can do makeup lessons, you can do uh, film, television, commercial work, you can do makeup artistry with headshots, you can uh, work in a salon, you can be a traveling makeup artist. I mean, there are so many different areas. You can work for a brand, you can work in retail. So it is really, I mean, the sky's the limit with where you can go with makeup artistry. So uh, you can definitely um, have access if you received this email and you should have the link to also download this if you wanna print this out for yourself. And you know, so I wanted to just welcome you to Cara Cosmetics, to our Cara Makeup Academy and our Smart Start sessions. And I have spent my life in makeup artistry and really put a lot of what I have had to go through into these sessions so you can not have to make the same mistakes that I made or um, speed up your journey, your process, and your success with what I can offer. So thank you, and I'm, I'm very grateful that you're here. So let's start with understanding freelancing. Um, who's a freelancer? It's an individual who makes money on a per job basis. And usually you will be working for a short amount of time. So that could be, you know, job to job. You might have a couple of different jobs going on. Um, but for the most part, you know, as a service provider, we're, we're exchanging time for dollars. That's kind of how it works. Um, and so, being a freelancer is really about building your own brand, so to speak, of even though it might just be you. So I wanted to have you think a little bit about some of these questions before you kind of launch into just doing your freelancing work. Um, or maybe you've been doing it for a while that you might not be where you want to be, let's say. And it, I think it's always great to also reflect at least, you know, once a year, every couple years, and just to see, you know, where we are. Um, so are you comfort comfortably earning income sporadically? Are you comfortable with earning income sporadically? Or do you need a regular paycheck? So you probably know what kind of person you are. You know, there are people that need to know, okay, I need to make this amount of money every month and if I don't know where my next paycheck is coming from, you just get really anxious. It can give you a lot of anxiety. It can make you stressed out. Uh, you know, again, a lot of my friends that are in the film business, it dried up because there's a writer strike. Things you have no control over, like COVID, you know, obviously things like that. Um, but being a freelancer, you just don't know. And as you're starting off, it can be very slim. So that can be challenging. You want to, you want to like find your own personal barometer and see whether this is going to be good for you or not. Being an independent contractor is not necessarily being a freelancer either. So a freelancer is pretty much you're your own boss. You're building your own business. Being an independent contractor is maybe working at a salon that's feeding you clients but you are still, you know, um, independent. You're not an employee of the company. So you want to understand from a financial standpoint, you know, those different things in business. Um, the second thing is, do you have an understanding of the financial aspects in business? It is going to be very difficult for you to be successful in business if you don't understand some business. You have to learn business. And um, those of us that are artists, a lot of times we don't get too excited about numbers. Uh, that is not necessarily what drives us. It's making people feel pretty and beautiful. And it's it's more of a, of a passion-based business. 
but you have to pay your bills at the end of the day. You have to know how to invoice clients. You have to know how to stay organized, book your clients in advance, contracts. There's a lot of logistics that go along with freelancing. So as an independent contractor, you are going to be responsible for all of these things. And you also are going to be responsible for investing in your business. Another thing is, are you comfortable networking and meeting potential clients? I have met some great makeup artists that are not necessarily people people persons, person people, right? <laughs> uh, they are, uh, they especially, I would say a lot of makeup artists that get into special effects, you know, they are kind of like behind the scenes and like to work in a lab and love gore and love these kind of things. That is not the type of person that I would say is going to be working with clients or building their own makeup studio. You have to enjoy and you have to be able to work with people and love people, right? If we're in a business, just think of any experience, like when you go to a salon, how does that make you feel walking through the door? So you have to you have to find do I do I like that? Do I feel comfortable? Can I go to an event and introduce myself to people and share with them what I do and get some potential clients? So that's going to be really important. Um, are you organized and are you on time? This is first of all a pet peeve of mine, <laughs> um, but. You have to be organized. You have to be organized with your kit. You have to be organized with, with your calendar. You have to be organized and clean and tidy. Uh, so there's so many aspects that you need to be organized. And also you have to be on time, especially if you're going to work with brides or any type of client. I mean, that just shows not only personal respect, but respect towards your client's time. And the, the more you work with, I, I wanna say important people or successful people, time is money. And so if you can't handle that, I would say, don't be a freelancer. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult for you to, to be successful. Um, and then another one is, you know, are you responsible with money and saving your money? Uh, you're going to be responsible for budgeting. You're going to be responsible for managing your money. You're also going to be responsible for paying your taxes because guess what? When you're an independent contractor, you have to pull out and save 20, 30%, however much it is, to pay your taxes at the end of the year. Or you might be filing quarterly. You need to have a good bookkeeper. You need to have a CPA. You need to know what are the things that you can deduct. Can you deduct your kit and your education and you know your, your lights or your computer or, you know, so all of these things are business expenses, but you have to be organized and know what it is that you are investing in your business and make it make it successful that way. So share with me any ahas uh, that you might be discovering right now in um, as I'm going along with some of these things. Is this all stuff that you know, or is this something that is uh, maybe things that you're um, you already know? And I hope so. If you're already a freelancer and this is like, okay, I got this, then you are doing great. Here is a checklist for you. Being a makeup artist freelancer checklist. Okay, so I have the necessary makeup artist knowledge to perform my services. So do you know, do you have the, the education? Do you have the experience to comfortably offer the services that you are offering right now? So if you say yes, then that's great. 
And then think about, okay, what are some of the other services that I want to offer and how can I be comfortable and experienced to offer that? Because we always want to continually growing. So maybe you're thinking about doing more bridal work, or maybe you're thinking about, you know, maybe your next step is doing, you know, a TV show or working, you know, doing headshots or photographers and things like that. So think about that and you can jot these down. There is a note section at the bottom as well. Um, the next one is, you know, I have a professional makeup kit. These are not your personal products. These are makeup products that are, um, that are in your kit that you have separate from what you have in your bathroom when you get ready in the morning and that are only for professional use. Also, um, do you have reliable transportation? Do you have a car that's going to take you from point A to point B? Or do you have to Uber? Or do you live in the city? Um, so do you have reliable transportation that can take you to your clients? Uh, do you have a true desire, resources, and perseverance to dedicate your time weekly or daily to building your business? Now, this is something that I really want you to think about because it's like going to the office. You have to have the discipline to be able to work at your business. You have to think, okay, I need to have my kids, you know, not around me at that time or my husband or my girlfriend or my, you know, partner. Or I, you need that time where you're going into the office and you're going to build your business, networking spreadsheets, your finance, your banking, um, marketing, your social media, you know, updating, and, and, you know, all of these are practicing. Maybe you're new and you need to take that time to practice and do some before and afters. So think about that, putting that on your calendar that you're going to spend X amount of hours per week, dedicating that to your business. Um, then uh, I will commit to building my network and to growing my client base on a weekly basis. That's another one. You can't just sit behind a computer and send out emails and not hop on the phone or go to an event and meet people face to face or talk to people. Uh, it is going, you're, it's going to take you so much longer. We're in a people business. You know, we touch people for a living. We paint their faces. And so you, that's how you're going to grow your business because people are going to like you and you're going to start to attract, you know, those kind of ideal clients that you want. Uh, you also have, do you have a list of services and prices that you can offer to your clients? Now, I'll tell you, just, I have my coach. I have a business coach that I pay thousands and thousands of dollars to for my personal business that, that I need. And I always have a coach, whether it's a business coach or, you know, have other mentors that I work with and, I'm actually, right now, we are breaking down all of our services that we offer here at Studio Cara because expenses have gone up so much. So as you know, inflation is going up, expenses are going up, shipping's going up, the price of alcohol, gloves, I mean, you name it, everything has gone up. But we haven't increased our prices you know, over the past couple of years. So I need to look at that because that's affecting my margins. So that is something that you do have to look at to see if you're, can you cut it? You know, it can, is, is, are your services going to support your lifestyle and your expenses? Um, also, uh, do you have a social media presence or a website? Now, when I mean social media presence, do you have a pro professional social media pr uh, presence, not just your daily uh, personal personal page? And do you have a portfolio of clients with before and after shots to promote your work? So these are at the least some basic things that you really want to think about because these are all the things that you want to put your also you want to put yourself in your clients you know shoes 
would you hire someone that doesn't have experience, that doesn't have a professional kit, that doesn't have a list of service? They don't even know what they offer. Um, all they have are selfies on their on their social page. Um, you know, they they don't have reliable transportation. They can't get somewhere on time. No, you wouldn't hire somebody like that, right? You're not going to invest money. So take a look at yourself from the outside and start checking off your list. And I'm sure most of you are on top of this game. So I'm happy that you're here because that means that you're that you care about your business. Um, so here's something that you want to think about. And we just put, you know, some little, some little tips in here. So one task at a time to get you started, right? So it's going to be your makeup kit. That is going to be, it, it costs a lot of money to build a makeup kit. I remember when I was when I was just starting off, I mean, I would buy little bits and pieces and that's kind of how we did it. You know, again, I started way before uh, there was any kind of YouTube or, you know, I mean, we really didn't even, I don't, well, the internet probably existed, but it wasn't something where we were using computers at the time. Uh, but so that's really where a lot of mentorship, but I would start to little by little by pieces. Well, of course, with Cara Cosmetics, I've put kits together for you guys. And that's also part of our Car Makeup Academy courses that you we're setting you up for success. And I know we have some students here that are watching this that they know, wow, I'm so happy getting that at 50% off. Um, you didn't have to go and piecemeal your kits. You can just add to it but you already have all the tools that you need in order to get started, to practice, to work on clients and to start making money. Um, then your expertise is invest in your knowledge, you know, become certified. Are you, you know, are you just YouTube trained? Are you, or are there areas where you realize like, oh, I'm kind of struggling and I don't, um, I don't know how to work on somebody that's older than me or I don't know how to work on a different skin tone or, so that means that you really need some professional training. You know, if if you are going to make this your career, it's kind of like, do you, do you want to go to a doctor that's never gone to med school? No, <laughs> you don't want that. The same kind of thing. Just like how it is for us when you join the union, there is a test that you have to study and there are lots of requirements. You can't just go from watching YouTube videos to, to join, you know, an IATSE union. There's a whole requirement of things that you have to do. I kind of call it like the doctorate of makeup artistry, you know, because it's a certain plateau and there's a lot of prestige and a lot of hard work to becoming, you know, part of the union. So um, we take our career extremely seriously. And, and again, it's, it's a lot of investment on our end, but we're also asking people for a lot of money for our services too. Um, so the next thing is your social. So work on that. You know, you want to look at having a professional social presence and you want to build a page that is truly going to showcase your personality, your style, and it's something that is not a selfie wall unless you are trying to become an influencer. Uh, there's not, let's say you want to, you know, get clients of brides, but you don't have any bridal work on your page, then that's going to be really hard to translate because we're in such a visual world right now. So look at those things. And don't be a copycat. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to build something that's going to look just like somebody else's website. Maybe you can use it as inspo, but really start to build your own brand and your look and your style. Then uh, your finances, you really want to look at how much money do you have to invest? How much money is it going to take for you to take courses, to learn, to get what you need to do? Do you need to buy a car? Do you need to um, get a business license? Do you need insurance? Do you need to get a bookkeeper? So all of these things, you want to really look at this like any business. 
starting with a business plan. Put all that together because if you do this kind of work instead of just doing it willy-nilly, and trust me, I have been in your shoes. It was not easy. We couldn't Google how to do a business plan. And my God, I think when I had to first build my first website as Cara Cosmetics, it was exorbitant. I mean, exorbitant. These things have all reduced. I mean, you know, social is free right now, but it was tens of thousands of dollars to get a webmaster to build out a website. I think my first computer was like $5,000, you know? So all of these technology things, you're in such a better place than we ever were before. And there's so many things that you can do and you can learn them too. And um, so the next thing is mindset. And we're going to have classes, we're going to break down and I will have monthly classes on every aspect of this too. But one of them is going to be mindset. Do you have people around you that support you doing this? Do they think that, you know, you're just kind of, they don't know the difference between, you know, somebody that watches a couple of YouTube videos or their aunt that sells Mary Kay or something like that, then um, being a freelance makeup artist or maybe a bridal makeup artist or a film makeup artist, you know? So do you have people around you that are going to support your success and that are kind of your cheerleaders? Because that mindset is so important. Um, and again, like you, I mean, a lot of people, they just don't know. We've had other artists here that they, you know, their, their friends would never even be able to afford paying for a makeup artist, paying a hundred dollars to get their makeup or, you know, whatever the price was. So how could they even support you? They, it's just like outside of their realm. So you want to think about that. You really need to find, you know, that mindset of support of also, you know, listening to, to things that, that energize you or that educate you, um, being around, you know, the, the Cara, our Cara Cats group, the Cara Artist team, our Carpreneur Success group, um, and and learning these things and having the support system of from people that have been where you want to go, and so that's very important. And then I would say, you know, your network. So you want to network, and they say that your network is your net worth. And so building a client base, and that is where you're going to start to break down understanding where those clients can come from. How are you going to get those clients? Um, how are you going to network with different vendors? How are you going to get more? You know, some people are really natural at networking. They just, they have that gift. So if that's you, then, hey, kudos, because that's a hard part of it. Marketing is a huge part. But if you market and you're getting clients, but you're not keeping them, then that might mean that maybe you have to elevate your actual skill. So look at these things that um, in, in each area of being a successful freelance makeup artist, because when you're your own boss, you have to be able to wear all these different hats. So this is yours truly on my wedding day. <laughs> but um, if you build a career that you love, life will bring you opportunity and joy. And I truly believe that because when you are joyful, people want to be around you. And I have had people around me that have been jealous that they um, are not they are not going to, you know, they they may falsely kind of encourage you, but on the other end, they might be sabotaging you. And those people are out there. But as you grow, I think, in life and as you have the support, there is enough abundance and success for everyone. And I truly believe that. And those people that are not supportive, you know, you just kind of want to start 
letting them go or leaving them behind and hang out with the successful people and have, you know, learn from them. So here's the last page. You know, we are here for you. I want to share with you our contact. Uh, you can go to caracosmetics.com. You can email us at education at caracosmetics.com. You can call us at 407-622-1997 if you want to learn more about our Smart Start courses, our Cara Makeup Academy courses, maybe how to retail Cara Cosmetics, um, or you know, just to find out maybe some some tips with your with your career. So I want to thank you guys for being here. I wanted to keep it at 30 minutes. I'm just a couple minutes over, but um, thank you so much. And I want to just check here in the chat and see if I have anything to answer. Do you have anybody here? Share with me where you're from. Um, I know we've got some Florida girls on the call as well, uh, but I wanted to thank you for this and I will see you next month. We're going to have another session, another Smart Start session. I hope you've enjoyed this. I call this the non-sexy side of makeup, but this is the really, really important side of makeup to know and to be successful. So I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day and live life beautifully.